now that I have my course sheet created, it's time to start adding some prices to it. And this includes looking up the actual parts I'm gonna be using. So first thing is the purchase parts I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna go over here, I've already looked for some stud knobs and I'm gonna say it's this number three. And I'm gonna do this 516 thread there. So I'm gonna grab that part number, copy that, and that's gonna go into the part number field. And might as well download that file. Leveling feet. Go with little one there. I would do a quarter inch one. Grab that. Yeah, that might also be a good thing to include some pricing. So I like to do the price each, not just the price for the whole package. So I'm going to do 8.4 divided by 4. Might as well go back and grab that other one. So this one was, we're gonna go with the 10 or more price. So, they are 4.68 each. All right, we'll go to T-Mold. C dimension probably to be the inch and a quarter. So we'll grab that one. And that is 1.12 a foot. And then T nuts. And these needed to be a quarter inch. those and we'll drop those in and those are 11.2 divided by 100 and now we need a weld nut and now is where we should probably decide what material we're using for this the weld nuts are all steel so if we're going to make this out of steel legs, weld nuts are good. If we decided that no, we want these the legs to be aluminum, these weld nuts aren't gonna work. We're gonna need to go with something else, maybe like a rivet nut. So let's let's change that, let's make, let's make these aluminum. And so now, my, now I'm gonna make, that's I'm gonna go rivet nut. There we go. So I'm gonna stick steel threads on it. And we need a 5 16 so I'm just gonna grab this one for now. Maybe during the process we might update which one it is, um, but at least for now we'll use this. Oh. We'll call it ribbon nut. It's a little faster than doing a weld nut anyway. And then it's 5.7. There we go. So now I've started adding some prices into this, and then. I can do the same thing for figuring out what these are. So, uh, let's say we've got this. It's not big enough. So it doesn't look like it has a hair master, so 
Maybe go somewhere else. Go to Lowe's. Or if you're in an in industry, you'd probably go and find call your local distributor and see what it is. Alright, so we're gonna use this one. So we'll just grab this. We know it's gonna be less than that, but we'll we'll go ahead and put this in as a note. Then probably I like to just grab that URL URL also stick in there. That way we have it. And we'll do the same thing for the, the materials there. So these are gonna be steel. Once we figure out the length of them or aluminum, once we figure out the length and what type it is, we would do the same process of figuring out what the price is here and put it on there there. So on this, we want to be uh, 30 by 60, so I'm just gonna kind of pull this over a little bit. So I can figure out the price for that one piece. Um, so if I look at this, this is a three quarter inch. So if I need two of those to be an inch and a half. Um, and so I'm just gonna break it down by price per square foot. So if I do equals four times eight, Do my 43.9 divided by that. This is the price per square foot. So I figured out the total square footage of the piece divided by the price. That gives me the price per square foot. And now I can tell it here that I want, if this is going to be 60 by 30, 60 times. We can divide that by 12. So we're here by square foot. And so let's multiply that. Yeah, we'll do it here. We'll just do this there. That. Divide by 144. So that gives us the price per square inch. Now we can go here and we'll do equal 60 times 30 times the price per square inch and gives us the total price there. And we also need a double axis, so we're gonna double up on thickness. Um, and let's just say that we're, used, we're gonna make it three quarters. And we'll just go back and adjust that. So we know that that's there. So this is, this is the dollar for that. That's dollar per square foot, dollar per square inch. And that gives us back to this. And so now we can go through and, and we can come through and add in all of our things and come up with a total price for the entire package. So right now we're sitting at a total of $25 for this table, not including this metal here. So let's we we'll do that same thing. We'd figure out how much it is for a piece of what this angle iron or, or angle aluminum. It's gonna come in a longer piece. And then we'll backtrack and figure out, okay, for being the size we want, based on the entire length, it's this much per inch or much this much per foot. Then we'll pull back, on, we need this much, and we'll go based on the price of that to come up with the price for that individual item. And that will go in here as our bill material. And so these columns here, just that we're using to, to get to that, we can hide, just get rid of, but this right here is the actual bill material. So items, uh, things, descriptions, part numbers, everything in a nice, easy way to see. All right.